guys I'm back I am back um, I got better lighting as you can see gratitude you see the sun is paying me a visit gotta show gratitude to the sun it's very amazing outside right now we should all be inhaling and exhaling out with nature out with the universe out with the ancestors whoever you believe in you should be whatever <laughs> so it is so amazing right now I have to get back on here because there's a few more messages that spirit put on me that I need to just relay. Um, and so I'm here again. And I'm actually making like multiple videos of the same thing and putting them on different platforms. So I am very dedicated if you did not know. <laughs> but me to even have to say that is just beyond me. But okay. Um silly y'all so I'm gonna laugh in the videos I'm gonna look I'm gonna pause I'm gonna just I'm gonna be me you're getting me I'm embracing my inner truth I am I am embracing who I am let me start with that I am on here doing things that I'm not comfortable doing I'm not comfortable going on a live video that is so not me I'm not comfortable just really speaking on what's in me internally what's in me in my internally my mind my thoughts the way i process things the way i think about things the way i see things i don't really speak that too much out on social media you can say but if you know me personally i would definitely tune you into things so anyway so i'm actually taking a risk getting out of my comfort zone and doing more live video doing live videos because i need to get better interacting in live i actually interact really well with people in person but you know <laughs> that's a whole other story but I got on here again to say um, melanated, black, carbon, copper, gold, men, I love you. I love you. I love you. T a mo. I think that means I love you. If it don't, I love you. <laughs> I love you. So many times I see and just in society now. We are praising women. We are uplifting women. And nothing's wrong with that. But what about the men? What about your man? What about your king? Your God? What about your... What about your divine counterpart? What about him? Love him. Uplift him. Support him. But most importantly, don't make him out to be his hard shell always 24 7 when he comes to you i'm not telling you guys how to whatever let me we should want to your words are powerful gotta be we should want to love our men and always asking them how are you emotionally spiritually mentally how are you physically financially how are you how are you ask these truly access and really care and take into consideration how they are a lot of men are drained bashed mentally a lot of men are carrying things from past traumas past relationships past situations past whatever you want to call it from the past they are carrying that with them okay they are carrying these things with them mentally some of them are not okay mentally check on your man Check on your men. Check on these guys. Check on these kings. Check on these melanated men. They had a very challenging time right now. They have so much on their shoulders right now. They need the clarity. They need that guidance. They need that nurturing. They need that support. They need you to be able to say, okay, babe, what's going on internally? We're in confident space or have you you y'all related to each other express your emotions express your feelings to me i don't want you to hold around that baggage i don't want you to hold around that trauma i don't want you to hold around those things internally that you're walking around with and you have not let it go you have not released it out and it's called it's draining it's draining these men it's draining these men do you not know do you not know do you not know that's because no one has checked on that melanated man check on these men check on them 
seriously. They need us. They need us. I don't even know if people are telling the men, the men they love. You know? Me, for, I know me, I can say it for me. I see a man. I love him. If you know me, even if you don't know me, you're going to take it and you're going to sense that my energy is pure and you're going to know and have the right intent. You're going to feel me when I say I love you. I don't even have to say it sometimes. I can give you a look and you know that that's love. She's giving me love. When I greet people, let me tell you. <laughs> the butterflies is out. It is amazing. Let me say, if you're not with nature, if you are not, go out and be with nature. Go out and be one. When I greet people, I'm a hugger. If you greet me any other way, I'll, I'll adjust to it. But I'm originally a hugger. When I meet you for the first time, whatever, and you introduce me, I'm a hugger. So I'm going to instantly latch to a hug. That's me. That's my nurturing spirit. That's me. Some people feel like that's too personal, so they would shake a hand. They would just wave. They would do like a brief hug. I know those like, you know, I know. But I'm a hugger. When I hug you, you will feel me. Hug your man. Are y'all hugging y'all man? A lot of times women want to be hugged. Hug your man. Anything wrong with that? I don't think anything's wrong with that. But allow them to come to you. Express their feelings. Let that man come to you. Express his mentally. There's a lot of things going on mentally with men. That we just spiritually as well. And they just need guidance and clarity. And just, just let them talk to you. Men walk around with so much on their temple and they need to release that but I just want to come on here really and say that melanated black carbon man I love you you are loved I love you if you if you don't have a confidant I'll continue to send positive energy if you don't have a confidant it's okay if you send me a DM if you don't have a confidant if you need someone to talk to it's okay I love you. I appreciate you. I am here for you. But now, don't get that confused with being too, you know, because everything is a balance. Like, men have the feminine and the masculine, and they have to show that side. But if you're too feminine, then some women will latch back, and they will be like, oh, he, he can't, he can't, you know, whatever. But definitely, definitely allow that man to express himself. Allow that man to be who he are. But ooh, be who he is, but be sure that you're checking on him mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. A lot of men are lost right now. A lot of men don't know what's really going on. Give them that clarity, give them that redirection. A lot of men want things, goals, dreams, they're trying to aim for something. How can I help you? How can I assist you? How can how can I help you reach this goal? What are you really trying to do? Re reverse things and instead of the way that you're used to talking to him and responding flip it around okay let's sit together let's come up with a master plan let's come up with the top three ways that we can do this let's start with number one how you how you going to reach this goal number one how can i get get you know what resources do you need a lot of women are not really checking on the, on these melanated men these melanated men are going through it they are going through it they are suffering. I'm not sure what's really going on, but something is going on with these men. And you need to tell these men that you love them, that you are here for them. You need to support these men. Hug your man. I love you, Melanie, man. I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to send y'all some love, some healing, some positive energy, some sun, because you see the sun. I don't know if y'all got it where y'all at, but I'm getting that sunshine. Okay. <laughs>